Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Kom yok kat ka akrak tu song sak tu chneh le kat ka akrak. Pantai yang yok chneh kat ka da akrak dao isa kat ka dai lo oi. So exciting to be with you today. But you mean I'm not clang men ten. Don't catch my page. You mean look now. I'm going to ask you to bring me. I'd like to show you a picture of my family in case you're not sure who I am. But since you're not now, I'm going to ask you to bring me. Can you tell me who you are? 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 And you recognize my husband, Mara Kong, who's actually right there. Hi, Nu Swa Mai. Do you know me? Look, Mara. And my wonderful daughter, who was singing up here, Anna, today. So proud of her. Hi, Nu Kong. Sorry, the Swa Mai. Do you know me? Look, Mara. Hi, Nu Swa Mai. Do you know me? So, if you know anything about me, I love the Bible. So I have lots of scriptures for you. But I also love the church. And today we're talking about the greatest thing on earth. Hi, today we're talking about the greatest thing on earth. Did you know that the greatest thing on earth is the church? What's your idea of a church? I have some beautiful pictures I want to show you of some churches. This is a church in New York City. It's very big, so you actually have to go across the street to take the photo. It's very beautiful. It's very big. I'd like to show you another picture of a church. This is a church in Taos, New Mexico. It was actually one of the first churches in America. Built in the 1800s. With mud and hands. So it's not very tall. Because they made it by hand. And if you look closely, they do it every year. They go back and they put more mud on it. There's one more church I want to show you. I haven't been to this church. But I'd really like to go. It's in Ethiopia. And if you can see the top is a church, uh, the top of the church is a cross. And there's people around the outside. And then we'll show you the next slide, which is the actual church. It's in the ground. So you can see the person, it's not very big. Maybe not so beautiful. But I want to talk to you this morning about the church. The church is people, not a building. Buildings are beautiful. And we hope to build our building in the next couple of years. And then we won't have to rent anymore. So buildings are good. But the church is people, not buildings. And um, this church was started in 1994. My husband was there. 
I came in 1999. And our church is 28 years old. Yay! 28 years. And next year, we're going to have a big celebration that my husband's leading to celebrate 100 years of the gospel in Cambodia. And Yes, 2022, right? That was not a trick question. <laughs> so, this year is 2022 years approximately from the birth of Jesus Christ. Some smart person decided that we should reset the calendar at year zero when Jesus was born. Does anyone know what year it is in the Chinese calendar? Anybody know? Four thousand seven hundred and twenty in the Chinese calendar. Does anyone know what year it is in the Hebrew calendar? Five thousand seven hundred and eighty-two years. You might say, huh, that's interesting. But that is the year that the Hebrew calendar started was supposedly the year that God created Adam and the whole world. Point number one today is the church is big. Now I know for some of you reading the Old Testament, it's a little bit tricky. You might be a little stuck, not really sure. I'm going to give you a Bible hack today. Go to Hebrews chapter 11. And you can read a summary of the Old Testament. In Hebrews 11, 4, it starts out with, By faith, Abel brought a better offering to God than Cain did. And then, summarizes a whole, well, most of the Old Testament, and we end up in Hebrews 11:32. And he says, we don't actually have time to summarize the whole Old Testament. But what more shall I say? I don't have time to tell you about Gideon, Barak, Samson, Jephthah, David, Samuel, and all the prophets. And then he follows up in Hebrews 12 by saying, Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders us. 
đòi xa miên mà nô chi tràn ớt kẹt nà nế phơ chìa bằng tốt tốt ai dương dàng nịch tử hào ấy trâu lạc bóng ở quay ở quay tàng ọc đại chìa bằng tốt nơi lời dương hay lạc bóng ở quay đại chìa ổng bơ bạp đại rùm rứt dương chào tử Let us run with perseverance the race that is marked out for us fixing our eyes on Jesus Chìa nhìm rốt đồng rong tư mốc tam ở quay đại bảo mà chắc đạo ở dương rốt Who's he talking about? Tha ta bóng cầm bông tàm miên bạp bằng tốt ổng bì quay Mark 12, 26 and 27, Jesus answers the question. Jesus said, God answered and said, I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. I'm not, uh, he is not the God of the dead, but of the living. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob were dead in their flesh and their body when Jesus said this. He's talking about the spirit of man. Maybe you know, maybe you don't know, but once your body dies, your spirit and your soul go to live on. Maybe you know, maybe you don't know, but once the God of the living, not the dead. Now, let's talk about Jesus. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob are still living up in heaven right now. They are the great cloud of witnesses that the Bible is talking about. They are the church. They are the ones that have already gone before that have believed in Jesus and worshipped God. Remember I told you that the Hebrew calendar is 5,782 years old? For 5,700 plus years, all those who believed in the one true God and that have already died have gone on. That's why I tell you, the church is big. From Genesis to today, the church is big. What about today? We have a graph. And they'll show you this picture. Today, well, in 2020, uh, 2010, Christians make up about 30, 33% of the world. And Which is about over 2 billion people. <laughs> it's a lot of people. So right now, 2.3 billion people on this earth say that they believe in Jesus. And for over 5,000 years, all those that have gone before. That's why I can say the church is big. Okay, number two. We already told you this. You are the church. Tell your neighbor, you're the church. Tell your neighbor, you're the church. 
You're the church. Ephesians 5 and verse 8. You were once in darkness, but now you are the light in the Lord, living as children of light. And Ephesians 5, 15 through 18 says, Be very careful then how you live, not as unwise, but as wise. Instead, be filled with the Holy Spirit. And 1 Thessalonians 5, 5 and 11. You are children of the light and children of the day. Therefore, encourage one another and build each other up, just in fact as you are doing. You are the church. Love each other. Encourage each other. Serve each other. Pray for each other. Build each other up. And there's a lot more you're supposed to do. But we talked about that before. <laughs> Number three. Jesus is the lover of the church. Acts 20, 28. There's a warning here. Keep watch over yourself. He's talking to the elders in Ephesus here. But he says, be shepherds of the church of God, which he bought with his own blood. Jesus bought the church with his blood. Was it expensive? Yeah, very expensive. But But he bought the church with his own blood. Ephesians 5, 25 and 29. Ephesians 5, 25 I think most of us have heard this in a marriage seminar, if you've been to a marriage seminar. Husbands love your wife. Just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. No one has ever hated their own body, but they feed and care for their body, just as Christ does the church. Jesus bought the church with his blood. Jesus loves the church. Jesus gave himself up for the church. Jesus feeds the church. And Jesus cares for the church. And then we come to the end. The end of the story, Revelation 21.9. Come, and I will show you the bride, the wife of the Lamb. There's a wedding coming. There's a wedding coming. The bride has made herself, will have made herself ready for the Lamb, and there'll be a marriage. So then in John 
Nâng dù hán chụp bụng đọc bấy khó xàm sập buôn đo xàm sập rắm. Jesus said this. Bây giờ miên bà bằng tù thà. A new command I give you, love one another. Khi ông ai bắt bằng chưa thầm mây đo nẹ rồi khả nè, cứ trớ xa lo lãnh nẹ rồi khả nè tờ vinh tờ mộc. As I have loved you, so you need to love one another. Đôi đại khi ông bà xa lo lãnh nẹ rồi khả nè, nẹ rồi khả nè thờ xa lo lãnh khả nè tờ vinh tờ mộc. By this, everyone will know you're my disciples. Tạm rồi chạy xa kê đây xa lo lãnh mùi nè. Jesus loves the church. Jesus loved his disciples. Jesus loves you, his disciples. And he gives us his command to love each other. Love each other as he loved us. And this will be the, the sign that tells people that we are disciples of Jesus. People will see you loving others and go, wow, I wonder if they're a disciple of Jesus. So I need to ask the question. How are you doing? How am I doing? If people look at your life, are they able to tell that you love Jesus by how well you love one another? It's not always easy. Point four. The enemy wants to trap the church with offense. And Romans chapter 12 is a long passage, chapter 12, verse 9 through 21. He just talked about spiritual gifts in the church and how we can serve one another and love one another. In Romans 12, verse 9, he said, Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil and cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourself. That's hard. Honor someone above yourself. It gets a little harder. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse. Don't repay anyone evil for evil. Be careful to do what is right in the eyes of everyone. And if possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. Don't take revenge, my dear friends. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Those are hard words. The enemy wants to come in and steal our love for each other. The enemy wants to kill and destroy relationships. Even in the church. Hebrews 12, 15. See to it that no one falls short of the grace of God and that no bitter root grows up and causes trouble and defiles many. 
จประหยัดประยายไกลโลเมียนปองโปนนามันเนี่ยเคลียดเจงปีประกุนระบบแปรจีมจ่ามันเตาตกออยกาสระจักรือโดนลังบรรดาลอยกาจีเรืองราหายกลมปมโปลจัดกลุ่มนัดปองโปนจีจราหนุ่มลอย Don't allow a root of bitterness to grow up กลมอ่ะหนุ่มยาไปดุมจัดได้จูจัดจักรือหายบันโดนเจง I want to tell you a story ยิ่งจังปราบลงแล้วมังโปนในสายเรื่องมวย A true story ชื่อเรื่องแบบเปิด About my family ปีกรัวซาบอกยมตัว About my mom and her brother คืออมปีมาได้บอกยมให้หนังโปนเปล่าบอกก่อน They never had a wonderful relationship ปุกอดอัดซาจีบองโปนได้สลันคณิมินแต่เนี่ยตนงละอ่อนนาหนาเต้ My mom told me when she grew up with her brother it was like Tom and Jerry มาบอกยมปราบยมทาเปได้กอดทมทอดล้างจมูกนปนปราบกอดชลวกเนี่ยปะใต้ปะตอกเนี่ยโดยเรื่องฉมากระดอนจัง They were always fighting with each other back and forth back and forth never seemed to end ชลวกเนี่ยหล่อหดเติมเอาเติมเอาอดเจ็บ Um and then both of their parents passed away ให้อะไรนี่อปกไรบอกผู้กอดตัวตัวมรณะเพียบอ่อนหาย And my mom and and her brother the only one left in the family นักน้องกรมครูซาซ่อแต่บองปนปีเนี่ยนี่เป็นหรอ And they got in a big fight. They got in a big fight and a big argument, and they decided to break They got in a big fight and a big argument, and they decided to break relationship. Never talk to each other again. They got in a big fight and a big argument, and they decided to break relationship. Never talk to each other again. They got in a big fight and a big argument, and they decided to break relationship. Never talk to each other again. They got in a big fight and a big argument, and they decided to break relationship. Never talk to each other again. They got in a big fight and a big argument. พวกกอดแต่งปีเนี่ยจีบบองปนคณีบังกาจีตันเนี่ยตันโนมวยได้กู้แต่เจ็ดสนัดบังพด and they decided never to talk to each other never to see each other again ปนใต้พวกกอดบานสำหรับเจ็ดท้าเลงรอบอ่านคณีเลงรอบโรคณีให้เหมือนจูบคณีเตี้ยเด it wasn't easy for me ให้สมัยนิ่มในจีโกนอัดสรุลเต because I love my mom and I love my uncle โดยซาตักยมสลันมาได้บักยมให้ยมก็สลันปูยมได้ And we always had to. Uh, I always had to talk to my uncle separately and talk to my mom separately. I came to that person that Chang Jie Chu Wen Na Man. Yeah, they just pop sing, they just map sing. And they didn't ever get together for family holidays. Man, that bon tien ai de, mien dai mien krom kru sa pu kuat dai ban chu pri te. And we prayed and we prayed and we prayed and we prayed. Bon tai pu yong man ati than ati than hay ati than. And uh, we encourage them. Hey, why don't you just? Text each other. Why don't you just? You don't have to have a big meeting and love each other. Just, just say hi. Just send a text. When I put young ban, look at that. Put what time? It's not that you can't see the line. You can't see the bong bong. Look at that. Come on, chat. The social talk is on the way. So stay, so stay. So I don't remember who started, but someone texted. My mom texted him, or he texted my mom. Hi. ยมอดจำท่านเนี่ยนะไม่เสกแต่เนี่ยนะมนเน่ปันตามิ้นไม่เสกภายจิมักยมเตอร์บงปอโปนปรากฏมนหรือกับโปนกดชาดมามนสวดได้ It's a nice day outside I don't know what they say ภายจิกนใจท่าโอ้กาสเทียนยังได้หรอ But eventually the wall was broken down and they decided to reconcile and meet together ปันตาอ้อกนปองจุมลูกมนิตรบานบรรจบพวกกดแต่งปีเนี่ยบันเตอร์คณีหลังเวง It took 20 years. ปนตายชลุกนี่อ๋อมาเผยชนะ20 years. มาเผยชนะ Wasted time. กดเคาะคานเปไปเรียนนี่เจ้า20 years of praying and praying and praying. มาเผยชนะในการอธิษฐานเฮ้ยอธิษฐานเตี้ย And 20 years of lost family time of joy and love that we could have shared together. มาเผยชนะในปุ่ยยังเคาะคานอดบานเมียนเปไปเรียนจูบจมครัวซาได้ละอ้อได้สบายได้ละอกละเอิน And you know the worst part of it. เราบอกดังไงอาจมดมุ่ยได้หัวจัดเหมือนแต่ After 20 years, my uncle said, "I don't remember what the big fight was about." มาเผยชนะชลุกนี่อัดใจรอกนี่ให้ไงมุ่ยก่อนใจทางอัดตั้งการนั่งชลุกในเรื่องไอพอง Twenty years, they're separated from each other, not talking, not loving, and they can't even remember what was the big fight to begin with. อัดรอบโรคเนี่ยมาเผยชนะมปนใต้หล่อโคตรเราถ้าอัดจำสมบัยแต่มาเผยชนะนั่งชลุกเนี่ยได้สาเรื่องเอ้ย so I have to ask this question จังคิมเธอแต่สู้สมโนมวยนี่ is there somebody that you have an offense with ถ้าตาเมียนแหน่หน้ามันเนี่ยนักลงชีวิตบอลลงเนี่ยบองปนแต่อ่อนสปอนจัดจมวยเนี่ย it's not too late อัดจืดเป็นอะไรเต้ is there somebody in the church 
that you have an offense against. Is there someone at your workplace? Is there somebody in your family? This is not the way God wants it to be. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you. Pray. Get people to pray for you. Be bold. Make a decision to forgive them. Make a, de- make a decision to forgive them and then go a step further. Forgive them and bless them. You don't have to bless them in yourself. Just, just bless them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Maybe you don't have an offense. Praise God for that. But make a decision today never to pick up an offense. Make a decision. I'm not going to pick up an offense in the future. For the rest of my life, God help me. I'm not going to become offended and choose the right way. It's not easy. But the Holy Spirit can help you. And give you the power to forgive them. So please, be careful. It's Christ's church. Don't let a root of bitterness grow in your heart against someone in the church. Because this is the important part. Point five. The church is the only thing that will last forever. The church is important to Jesus. The church he laid his life down for. And he wants us to be ready for him. Revelation 21 verse 3 and 5. Look, God's dwelling place is now among the people, and He will dwell with them, and they will be His people, and God Himself will be with them, and He will be their God. He He will wipe every tear from their eye and there'll be no more death or mourning or crying or pain for the old order of things has passed away. He who was seated on the throne said, I am making everything new. If you haven't read the end of your Bible, I encourage you to do so. Go to the very end of your Bible. Read to the very end of your Bible. Read to the very end of your Bible. Go back three chapters to chapter 19 of Revelation. Read chapter 19, 20, and 21, and you'll see how it ends. There's a party. Revelation 19, 7 and 9. Let us rejoice and be glad and give him glory, for the wedding of the Lamb has come and his bride has made herself ready. Friends, 
And then in verse 9, blessed are those who are invited to the wedding supper of the Lamb. How many of you like a good party? How many of you like a good wedding dinner? How many of you like a wedding dinner that's for you? There's a party planned in heaven. It's a wedding feast. It's for Christ and His church. You know, many people have asked me, what is heaven like? They have a lot of questions about heaven. But this is what the Bible says. There's rewards for believers. God's prepared four crowns for the believers. It's different there. Revelation 21.5 says, Behold, I'm making all things new. We want to give you a preview of the party. Revelation, it tells us there's no hunger or thirst there. Don't miss it. It's not hot, the sun doesn't burn you there. There's no sin there. There's no sorrow there. Don't miss it. There's no crying there. Don't miss it. There's no pain there. Don't miss it. There's no curse there. Don't miss it. There's no night there. Don't miss it. And there's no death there. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. God warns us many times in His Bible to live right. So I want to encourage you today. Be the church. Live right. Be the church. Tell your family about the church. Tell your family and friends about the party that will come. Make sure that everyone you know knows the good news. Could you stand with me? I want to pray. Thank you, God. God, I just want to pray for these wonderful people. These people that love you and worship you. God, we pray that you'd fill them with your Holy Spirit. God, we pray that you give them power. Lord, if they have forgiveness against someone, would you help them? Give them the power to forgive. If it's someone in their workplace or their family, or if it's someone in the church. God, we pray, pray that you'd help them. God, we thank you for your church. We thank you for the price that you paid for us. And we thank you for the way that you've made to live with us forever in eternity. We're excited about the future with you. And we pray this week, Lord God, that you'd bless your church. Empower them in Jesus' name.
นงเปรนิมพระองค์เจ้าพระเยซูคริสต์ Amen 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 Don't forget to vote เราได้มาโปรดตัดบอชนาวคอมเพล็กต์ตัดบอชนาว My husband already voted สมาไม่คิวบอชนาวไทยหาย And if you need prayer, please come forward. We'd be love to pray with you. บอลเล่ามาโปรดตระการสำนมโปรดอธิษฐานจงเบียนเนะดังนอมในขังมกดังอธิษฐานจมวยลูกเนะบองโปรดต่างอ๊อกเดีย